Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Kirby's Epic Yarn. And I believe Kirby does fall asleep after staying a in one spot for a while without moving. But anyway, let's also go into flat 202 and see if we can actually put anything in there as well. Since we've we've progressed quite well. Uh, it does look like we have possibly most of the stuff in here, but I don't think we have all of it. So let's get out the dinosaur slide from wherever that is. There it is. Put that right there. Also, I believe we have the teddy bear that we can put there, but I don't think we have the next thing. So we're going to have to keep playing to get that, so... Well, we got most of the things in here, so that's pretty good. We're, we're making pretty good progress already, so... Let's head on... Over to Treatland. Okay, and let's throw... This patch. Sweets Park. I like sweets. Sweets is good. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> this was a mistake. I'm hungry now. Well, let's uh, let's make the most of it then. Ooh, look at all. Look, everything is everything is food now. Except for the waddledees, of course, I guess. And I guess it's all made out of materials like that aren't actually food. But you, you, it's all food. Goodbye. <laughs> Just knock him and knock the wall dude down into the hole that I can't see the bottom of. I mean, it wasn't actually a, a pit or anything, so he's all right. Also, the beads are like fruit, I, I, like berries, I believe. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and open that, get some more beads, since we're going to need a good amount of beads. We haven't had much trouble with beads that, though, so it's usually fairly relaxed when it comes to beads. But if, if you struggle and you die, then you're gonna... Then you're gonna need to probably put more of it into beads. Uh, anyway, these puddings here that are being dropped on each other, that crush each other, apparently, uh, we can ground pound on them to break them, which is good since over here we can get some beads out of doing that. Uh, but we can also just use them as platforms, which is the main thing, so... Need to be patient, otherwise we'll get crushed. Grab the two stars, very nice. Let's go with that and that, please. Thank you. Now, let's platform on some puddings, because that's what we're doing. Since the puddings will be going on the conveyor belt around the place. Means we can... ...get around, but also we need to be careful not to get crushed by them moving around. And I want the beads, so I'm gonna get as many of those as I can. Very nice. Very nice. Get all of these. There's something satisfying about collecting the beads in this game. And I don't know what it is. I want that as well. So let's just take a second. And go up here, so we can get that star. Very nice. You can also see there's a treasure above us. So we need to get up there to do that. Which well, should be fairly simple, we just need a car and then float over here. Get a donut pillow. Don't, don't tempt me. This delicious looking cushion would be a uh, would be at a home cap would be at home in a cafe. I'd also probably try to eat it, which is probably not what you want what you want to do to a pillow. So, uh, but anyway, let's get a nope. I, also, I don't know if you can get crushed by being in between two platforms. Possibly, I don't know. Anyway, let's go up here. I think that's everything that we need to worry about. For the moment, we also have these donuts here. Ooh, the hunger returns. Also, I think there are just beads along this whole thing here. And we've got gold, so that's pretty good. Oh, I didn't want to be here though. <laughs> it's fine. We can basically just wait for this platform to move us around, which is pretty cool. Pretty neat. Oh my goodness. I want to get those beads down there as well. Oh, I think we need to be careful around here because I know there's a secret upcoming in a minute here. So I need to be careful not to miss it. Also, goodbye. I'm sorry. 
Ooh, and I see that star up there. So let's try and get that. This is one of the songs that I remember the most from this game. Okay, good. This looks dangerous. There's a lot of pits here. But there's also beads inside of these donuts that I want. There's also an upper path here that we should probably take. So let's see what's up here. Let's go into the... This thing here that takes us all the way up. This way. There's also a transformation here which should be obvious by the fact that there's... Um... The fluff here. But we also probably want to make sure that we can make our way up as regular Kirby. Basically. And also collect all the beads along the way. I don't know how I want to do this. Probably not like that, but anyway. I don't know how high Kirby can jump in comparison to some of this. It's probably fine. Just need to get all these beads. We can also go down here, I believe. Oh, there's a patch there. Need to get that in a second. We can kind of move faster by slashing at nothing. But not a lot, but anyway. Let's go through there, and now let's see if we can actually make it up to the top, since we opened up a lot of this. Up we go. Yeah, we can jump a lot higher than I thought we could, but that's good, so. Just being extra safe, and here's the thing that we needed for the other flat. Desert chest. <laughs> or dessert chest. I know, I, I can... I can pronounce things correctly. This chest of drawers will make your... You reach for a spoon. And your elastic waistband trousers. This game knows too much. Let's get rid of that. Five stars. That's a very interesting place to put that. Could very easily miss that. Anyway, let's head back down and see if we can get some more beads. Even though I don't need them. Although, you could argue that you always need them. Just gonna get out there before I fall into the pit. There's a treasure chest down there. I need to get that. That's the thing I was referring to earlier that I need to keep an eye out for. Go down, and we need to be careful because we could very easily fall into the pit here. Okay, careful. Let's grab that. That's the music. For, for grassland, apparently. Okay, now we just need to make it back. I guess they probably use songs in different places. I'm just not noticing. Oh, there's treasure down there. I want that. I think I can actually just probably float down there. Oh, I need to swing on that. Okay. But yeah, I can float down. Cool. I think we're pretty close to the end now. I think we have everything, so... Just like that, and there we go. Apparently I missed the three stars somewhere. I don't know how I could have missed that, though. But it doesn't feel like the levels in this game are long, but apparently I've, it's, it's still very easy to miss stuff, apparently. Which, that, that shows how good of a game this is, really. It's well designed. I got two donuts. But sadly, one of them is just actually the music disc. It's fine. We got a lollipop patch. And I really like the way that the patches work in this world, particularly from this point on. I mean, I, li I like how all the patches work, but I really like the patches that connect together. Like this one. It adds an extra layer to the cake. Allowing us to go to Melody Town. Another very, remem very memorable level from the game. So let's go in. Because whenever we walk over or drive over these piano keys, they put the notes in with beads for us to collect. It only happens once though per note, or drum, or whatever you, you're hitting. But it's, it's just so cool. This game is great. <laughs> 
need to have an actual bounce off of the thing to make it work properly. Also how like how you can play the different notes and all that. Let's go through here though. And now we need to be careful because we need to go up and down to hit all of the notes here. Getting all the beads. But also for hitting all the beads we also get an extra star. It's just... that's a really cool idea. Okay, very nice. Turn around. Goodbye. And all the bottle deeds are bouncing off of the things here. Oh, hello. Two stars. I'll take that. I'm gonna bump you off. Come on. Nope, I guess not. Okay. Oh, let's go down. <laughs> Nearly didn't go this way. Because I thought there was a pit there. And there is a pit there, but also there's a drum there. Toy piano. This piano may look like a toy, but it has a really solid tune. Nice. That'll teach him. Okay, let me get rid of you because we you shoot cannonballs at me. I don't want that. It also wants us to follow the notes in water here. Which is cool. Okay, let's get that. Very nice, we have bronze now. I feel like that took a lot longer than the previous level. But I might be crazy. And the harp, we get to swing on this to play the harp and it... Ah! Imagine being the person who had to explain this idea to people in a room. They were so correct about everything. I mean, I don't know if they people gathered in a room to explain this or not, but anyway. Let's go into this horn here. Oh, no, nope, wrong way, go back. Try and collect all the beads. Now let's see if we can get all the notes on this stave. Oh, I, no, I almost missed that. The angle is a bit weird because it doesn't actually line up properly with where Kirby is, but we get the star there. So let's grab that and let's go down because we missed the area by going that way. There's actually a another harp here to swing on. I think there's actually a Max run over here as well that I missed. No, I did get that one. Okay. So it was just the one harp and also the treasure down here, which would be very easy to miss if you went the upper way first. Clef tree. This tree plays a melody when it when you shake it. Just try not to overdo it. I don't think that's quite... I mean, I, 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 that's... Okay. I mean, it works, I guess. No more questions. Anyway, let's go up here. Also, this one's nice because if you miss a note, you can also go back to the horn and go back through. Also, this bit is cool because there's a whole bunch of pianos to play notes on. Very nice. Okay. I think that's all of those. We're almost at gold as well. Ooh, that was a, an interesting jump. But it's okay now. Let's pull that up. Oh, I love that as well. Gonna get rid of you. Probably should have tried be, be, being a bit faster on that. But anyway. Hit that. And if I can play my cards right, I think if I hit that and then go up faster than that, we can actually go up. Let's actually time it better as well. Got that. Please go up, go up, go up, go up, go up. Up. Thank you. And there's a treasure here. With the music from Melody Town. Cool. Okay, where's the platform? Where's the platform? Where's the platform? I can't see. It's fine. Just be confident. Okay, take care of that. And let's play some notes. Also want to get this here. Okay. So now that we've done that, let's go over this way, play some more harp. It's not really notes in some of these, but it's fine. More harp. Oh, that's going up a lot higher than I thought it would. Oh, that's going down. Why, why did you do this? It's fine. That's up. Get that. Okay, another horn. Okay. Let's see if I can get this. Can be a bit tricky, but I got him. So there we go. 
Now we just need to play the last notes on this long piano, and that's the end of level. We got a lot of beads from that. Wow. Just 3,000 by itself. Plus the extra stuff. We also got the air pump patch. Washini. Probably the coolest boss in the game, and I'm, I'm not entirely sure about that saving. Uh, but, uh, I, I remember it being really good, so let's go, let's go in. We've got a a slot machine. And also the boss himself. Squashini, Squashini the Magician. Rolls the slots to see what happens in the fight. I believe most of the icons have an actual thing that happens, so... I don't know if we'll see them all though. Okay, hat. Stack three hats. We need to figure out which one he's in. I don't know which one he's in, but I'm... Gonna have to pick one at random, so pull that one. He was in the other one. Oh, I need to dodge that. Ow! Good thing I don't have any beats to lose, loser. Got him. Okay, what's next? Cards. Okay. Cards is good because it's, this is what we can use to actually get some extra beads out of the fight. And we're gonna need them, so. He's gonna throw them all at us. We can also throw them back at him. Also, oh, I missed. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? That's a shame, isn't it? Isn't it just. Also, we can actually apparently hit him at this point in the fight because he's he, under his hat is actually the way we can hit him. Cool, so we got a lot of beads out of that and we got a, our first hit, so... Very nice. I'm already at silver, but we need to get to the patch. Also, at the, after each hit, we always get the rope, I'm pretty sure. What could it possibly be? Other than getting tied to a bomb and you need to mash the buttons to get out. And also... If we whip the bell at the top, we get some more beads out of it. Okay, go, 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 go. Get all the beads before it explodes. I think it's not too bad, but if you're next to it when it explodes, you'll get hurt, so... Okay, what's next? Oh, okay. This one's an interesting one. I don't think it's the worst it could possibly be. But he has that there, and he pulls out a bomb. Where will it go? Is he gonna throw it? Roll oh, there, several- ah, I got hit. I think we can grab one of those though and throw it at him. Which means that we can actually do another hit of damage. Very nice. Also, I love that there's Waddledees in the audience just watching. Well, <laughs> I wonder what it could possibly be. Hmm. Rope again. Funny how that should happen. Just gonna start mashing now. We can get a lot of beads from this fight. Okay, good. That's all of them. Very nice. We have all the beads we need. We just need to finish them off now. Let's see what we're going to finish him off with. There's also the star in there, which just gives you beads. And I don't think you can get his face ever. I've never seen it, at least, so... Hat again. I don't know how to pick the right one.
I believe there's a way to actually figure out which one's the right one. It might be the one that doesn't move the first time round. But I can't remember, sorry. But anyway, he's done. Doing quite well for beads right now. Squashini's theme and the biscuit patch. We did it! We got a piece of the magic yarn. The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patchland together. Kirby and Fluff came upon a cake the size of a mountain. It was breathtaking. Kirby tried to contain himself, but failed. He dived right in and started gobbling up the cake. I declare a cake-eating duel, and with that, Prince Fluff jumped into the cake as well. The two ate and ate and ate, but they didn't balance their eating very well. Oh, no! And before they could get down, the cake collapsed with them inside it. Ugh, I can't eat another bite. Prince Fluff groaned as he rubbed his cake-filled belly. But then, Kirby appeared with a huge cherry in his mouth. Mm -hmm. Kirby won the contest, and a looming tummy ache as well. This game has a, a, a good amount of charm to it. This, this, this game is charming. I can understand it not being for everyone, though. Anyway, Waterland. I can easily understand it not being for everyone. Anyway, let's go to the next level. I love how one of those came in late. Ah, uh, it's great. I love also that there's extra, like, there's an extra two levels in every world you don't have to do, but you, you, you can still do for fun, so. Anyway, Coco Station. And we get to transform into a train, and I'm pretty sure the whole level is train, so. Let's see how well I can do. I'm not entirely great at this, but I mean, when you're trying to draw on a screen while you're moving, it gets difficult, so. There's once again train pieces to collect, so we're going to try and collect all those that we can. And dash into that to break the pudding, and get the extra thing. Activate that, there's a plane that we probably want to catch up to if we can. Try and get some more of these beads. I probably should have gone down to try and speed up more. I'm very... I'm slowing down a lot. Oh, excuse me. Make sure I don't lose my thing back there. Oh my goodness, why did it turn upside down and I'm not upside down? That's interesting. Just make sure I collect those beads right there. Let's go in here. Probably can just leave our own tracks and just go through normally. Okay, now, we also have this thing up here that if we hit, will actually activate something. It activates that path there for us, to get the unlockable. Choco Otom Ottoman. This Ottoman is great, but what is it filled with? Why are you asking? You, it, it, it's probably not, probably not for eating, probably. Please. Oh, this is difficult to aim. Oh, this is very difficult to aim. Hang on, turn around. Okay, go up, and then grab that, and then go that way. I guess sometimes you just have to hold down the button to see where you go. Even if it's wobbly, you still need to go to where you're going. Anyway, we can also hit the switch here to activate this bridge down, which is uh, going to allow us to go down 
Yep, maybe not not that. Uh, over this way. Just need to not leave my things behind me. Okay, let's grab that now, and now we can go up here and grab the second collectible. There's a, there's a surprising amount of waiting in this, because there's no way to dash, but I wouldn't expect there to be, normally. Chocolate bar. This floor mat made, makes me wonder why there aren't more giant chocolate bars. This is one of the things that uh, I find interesting with the objects like that. Because there are objects that, um, or furniture you can put in your house, like carpet, that acts as a platform if you put it in the air, which is cool. Anyway, we also need to not hit this thing before going through, so we can actually get those stars there, otherwise they're just gone forever, so. Get the beads. Okay. Where am I going? Slowly. I can hit those. I don't know if I want to hit those, though. Let's hit those instead. I think the dashes do respawn. Luckily. Also, I see that there. I want that. So, let me... Let me... No, go back. Go up here. And go that way. Please. Um, okay then. <laughs> if that's the way you're gonna be. I'm okay with this, though, because it means I get to turn around and do things a little bit better. A dash. Okay, go over the top, please. Go over the top. Down there. Break that open. Thank you. And we get the, th the five star. Cool. Okay. We have three carts with us already. Oh, well, we also didn't need to worry about missing that. Okay. I thought that if we hit that out of order, it would block off the the five star. But no, that's, that's not what that does. Okay. Cool. Anyway, we also need to go fast now. So let's go fast. Okay, cool. Great. Excellent. Just turn around. Grab all this. If I can manage that before it disappears, because it does disappear pretty quick. Uh, now let's go over this way. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need that. <laughs> I don't want to leave that behind. Our fourth track, or cart thing. I don't want to talk about. Oh, please. Just hang on. Give me a second. Okay, and now... Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. Up. Please. Thank you. That works exactly as intended. Oh my goodness. I'm struggling right now. I'm struggling. It's fine. I think it might be better to be further away from the sensor bar, possibly. I might be wrong. I'm trying, though. I'm trying. Up the door. Right there. Down there. I'm trying to get all these beads along the way, except I'm missing them, so it's fine. I need to get the music. Also need to make sure that we get the cart there as well. Theme from Hotland. <laughs> I need those. Can I, um, have those, please? I don't like them getting stuck on top of the things here. Okay, grab that and then go back down. Okay, I should have all of them, since they're all on the same level now. It's a good sign. I think there's six? Or is it five? Five. Okay. Anyway, we get a lot of extra beads by collecting all of those, so... Anyway, it's the end of the level. Why? 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 Ah, uh, why? Why am I so inconsistent getting the five stars? It's fine, I don't need them anyway. I probably shouldn't be overthinking getting the five stars. Anyway, it's another level complete. And we got the chocolate patch for the last level in this world. And again, I love how a lot of these patches have added onto the cake. Like, like, just, just look at that. Look at that cake. That wasn't there before. 
Uh, it's there now, so. And that's pretty cool. Oh, well, let's go in. Into the dark manor. The spooky level. Spooky scary. Also spooky. This is actually a pretty cool level idea, I guess. I mean, for like this game made of yarn, it's having a like a spooky level, I guess. Just that's cool, and there's also the, the shadows because we're in the darkness, I guess. But this yarn here that we have also glows because it's made out of ghost. That's how that works. Uh, anyway, I should probably go back over this way to get the thing up there. There are some lamp. <laughs> there's some lamps along the way to light things up for us, but also the ghosts to glow for us as well. Okay, guess I'll break that open, why not? Hopefully I'm not missing anything. Imagine it's very easy to miss something. Okay, I can't see. Oh, hello ladder. I'll take that. Oh, hello ghost. I'll take that. Also the beads lit up the room, that's cool. Ghost in the box. These toys can be pretty unpredictable and scary. You know, side note, it's it's scary. I don't think we can take that down a little ladder though. That's unfortunate. Activate that for some extra light. And again, for some more light going up. I can't see any secrets. So there's stuff over here that we can look at. Two stars, but also up here is a star. Very nice. Let me just activate that again before those those go out again. I really can't see a whole lot. There's something up there, though. Let's throw that up. Was that something I was supposed to do? I'm not entirely sure. There's also a platform here with some beads on it. There's so much just they don't see. Can't see up there. Maybe I was supposed to go around somewhere else. I don't know. Over here, maybe. Yeah, this looks like this looks loops around or something. Get that. Whole bunch of beads. And also a unlockable, so that's a good thing I went up this way. Pumpkin. This pumpkin looks great as a quaint decorative item item. So there we go, that's that area. Now we can go down. All sorts of stuff here to look at. I probably should just put down the glowing yarn if I can. Also it just gave me a Okay, cool. <laughs> I mean, I, I, it's there if you didn't ha bring it down with you, but also... I, I sacrificed a glowing yarn ball for a glowing yarn ball. It all adds up, but also what? Star in there. Don't have my glowing yarn anymore, though. Go down here. Check what's back here. I probably should roll up one of these. At the very least. Oh, I see. Tricky, tricky. This is the second patch behind the first patch, with the three stars in it. The first patch had just beads in it, so... Okay. Oh, hello. Take you out for some beads. Okay, where are we? We're in the light now. Oh, we're going into the well. Oh, no. It's fine. We're in here now, so... Any secrets? Any, any, any secrets? I don't think so. There's a ghost here that we can take with us. Also down here, there's this beads here. I think there's something that we need to avoid, probably the ghosts, but also we can also just take them with us. Also we can whip down underwater, which is interesting. Okay, good. Oh, hello! Funny, funny seeing you here, you know? Okay, I want, I want that. No, I don't want that. I want this. Can't see what I just did. I think I may have just activated the beads along here. Okay, we're good. And where are we going? Oh, we're going up. Okay. Is this the end? I think it's the end. Did I get everything? Oh, no, not quite. Not quite the end. There's a patch there which makes these beads appear. There's also the lower area here with some beads that is very easy to miss because you'd 
only be able to get them if you fell down. So, go up again. Activate that. You can also see some be uh, things over to the uh, left uh, also lit up when we hit that, though. So let's see if we can go to the left first. There's also this thing here to swing on, so we can go up here. Okay. This should be the final thing that we need for the, the music for the Dark Manor. That should be everything we need to collect, so let's go to the end. Yep, there's a hole there. I knew there was something there. I'm gonna relight those, just make sure. I think there's also a pit here that I want to probably fall down just for some beads. Oh, that's a five star. Interesting. That's a good spot to hide it because you wouldn't think to fall into the pit. Can't see, can't see, can't see. It's fine. Oh, hello, that lit up the ghosts. It's fine with me because I... Oh, they don't give you beads. That's interesting. So that's just a trap. Cool. Anyway, that's the end of the level. So let's just hit that. Nice. So there we go. That is all of Treatland completed. Just like that. And that is also it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.